On to the next project. Underneath the breakfast nook countertop, you have the batteries and the cat. You have the batteries and they need to be vented because they are traditional lead acid batteries. They're not sealed. So they all have, these are six volt, I have four batteries. It doesn't matter how many volts. There's vents on the top of the batteries here. And the plan is to make duct work out of PVC somehow and have it routed to the back here and blow through the propane tank storage compartment, which you can see there, and which is from factory vented to the outside. So here is the exterior of the camper. We're looking into the inside of the compartment and that area that I was pointing at is right about here. Here are the components that I have. This is all one inch schedule 40 PVC. Got a five foot stick. This is a shower drain, which is gonna be the vent, which is threaded in and is removable. So I'll cut a hole there. And then the plan is to put a 12 volt computer fan to draw all of the air out. This is an adapter to get it to one inch. And then we'll just kind of have to make it work. This is a, a custom scenario, so it's not gonna be quick. So let's get to it. Got the hole cut using tin snips. Then it was pretty, uh, you know, like warped from the tin snips. So in order to straighten it out, I have this nice piece of uh, thick piece of aluminum. Doesn't matter what it is, steel work. And I got it supported from the back side, and I just got a ball peen on the flat side. And let's go around. And straightens it back out to the way it was. So now, slide that right in. Getting somewhere. Here it is so far, we got old dingle flopper here. Don't mind the wiring, oh my goodness, so I gotta hang that up. There's the propane storage compartment. This is the shower drain. It's adapted to one inch PVC. Then at 45-45, going into the center. Out, 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 out. Battery vents are underneath the straight portions here. Probably drill holes on the bottom side. Here's inside of the compartment. I ended up having to cut a half inch piece of plywood spacer in there so that I could tighten it. And, um, cause it needed to make up a gap. Got the underside of it, have it marked out where the holes need to be. So let's drill them. Using a 3 8 paddle bit. Let's see how it goes. New wood, and I got a regular drill bit this time. All right, got the piece of three quarter inch plywood with two U bolts holding that up. All salvage materials, of course. Come on, you think I went to the store for those things? It came off a truck. They're 15 millimeter lock nuts. Do you think I needed that? No, it's because I had it. Now we're gonna make the support from this piece of wood up to the bottom of the countertop. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'll figure it out. Got the countertop upside down on the workbench, and I marked where the board that's gonna go, that's gonna support it. So let's see what we can do here. Diving in the scrap bin, I got this nice piece with a nice old knot in it. We'll just place that over there. You know, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna film this and show you. I was just gonna get it done. Am I, no? No, get the video camera, get the tripod out. Cause someone out there is gonna wanna see it. Someone. There's some a select few that will want to see all these details. But this is this is what we got. It can get this done a lot quicker without you guys involved, but it's nice to have the commentary. Someone 
will benefit from this who is also doing a similar build. That's what it comes down to because if I was learning and doing things, never did it before, I am always learning, but if I was trying to figure this out, I'd want something. So here you go. Moment of truth. This is going to be hard to see because of the wiring, but there is where it comes in and the countertops on there. It does all of its jangles and then I got the two U-bolts onto that piece of plywood and then it goes up onto that fairing strip and then goes up into that plywood or that piece of 2x4 that's screwed into the plywood countertop and that's what you're looking at. So. Now, the, um, now this is, you know, stout. It bends a little bit over here, but, you know, it's stout. We've got the fan here that we're going to utilize. It's a 50 millimeter computer fan, 12 volt, and it's got to drop in there, and it's just too big, so I'm going to file these edges down a little bit, see if we can get that in there. Got it all filed down. Couple chamfers. Drops right in now. We are gonna bolt through that right there. I've got a small, looks like number six screw or eight. Bunch of washers. That's gonna be that side. And on this side, one washer, throw a little Loctite, put this nut on and be done with it. Okay, we got the fan in there installed. I got, got the, wrapped it in some screen, aluminum screening there, just to keep bugs out. I got the plywood spacer, just uh, gave it some primer. Let's put it back together. vent with the screen inside here this is the back side I drill a hole for the wiring for the fan and it goes down into what you saw before took it up so with the wiring for the Victron battery monitor BMV 700 it has the capability of running a, it has a relay built into it and you can program it. It can support one amp, which is enough for this little fan, so I have a little, don't worry about the wiring, I'm not going to explain that, but I have a hot coming in with its own fuse, one amp going in, coming out, and then it goes to the fans eventually. I'm not going to go into details on that, but I soldered them in, ready to go. Alright, so that's that. I have the battery monitor program to kick the fans on under charging conditions, which in this case is 13.7 volts. Once it goes above that, it turns the relay on and the fan turns on. It's also programmed to kick off the relay or fan, same thing, um, at 13.6 six, at volts. So once it falls below that, it'll cut off. So right now, the voltage is falling down because I just turned off the charger. So we are gonna test it. Okay, we are gonna turn on the charger and watch the relay kick on. Takes a second, listen for the relay. There you go, relay just kicked on. Takes a couple of seconds and the fans are on pulling the vapors out. Now, and now I'm gonna turn the bad, or the charger off and it'll fall. The volts will fall. Right there, just kick the fan off. So, there you go. Works. Well, it does suck up the smoke, 
into the holes with with you know ones that's ambient just smokes just laying in there it does pull it through it's just very hard to see um but it is doing it so it's gonna do something it's gonna do something better than nothing and if it doesn't work then i can always put a put like a you know like a rubber flap around it to isolate it just from coming from the vents to the holes in the bottom of the pvc and that'll solve it but for now it's good